Additional info, she cheated and I thought we were a success story. This certainly got far more of a response than I expected. First, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to read, respond, upvote, or award. A special thank you for responses that related similar experiences and for those that validated and empathized. I am certainly not alone in this. I have read every comment. I'm fairly new to Reddit, so I am pasting the original below and additional information below that. I'm compelled to provide this to try to answer some of the more common questions. Original She cheated and I thought we were a success story. I posted here about what would have been our 23rd wedding anniversary last Sunday, but I've never shared my story. Someone who left a nice comment there encouraged me to share. So here goes. My wife and I met in college, got married after grad school, and had two beautiful children together. There were some issues, but life together was generally very good. Three years ago we were sitting at the kitchen table during tax season. We were discussing finances, not just the monthly budget but the big stuff. I found it a bit odd that she was texting during such an important conversation. It wasn't texting the kids, they were both home. To this day, I have no idea what compelled me to snatch her phone from her hand mid-text. I had never suspected a thing, at least consciously. A look of horror immediately came over her so I darted into the other room with the phone and locked the door. The text string was about planning a weekend in Vegas with her AP. I was blown away. She was banging on the door, yelling and sobbing. I texted the guy pretending to be her. I wrote something like I can't wait to be between the sheets with you again. His response affirmed that they were sleeping together. While locked in the room, I called my brother. He came over and convinced my wife to stay with him for a few days. Drama naturally ensued, but after a couple of months of me living on the boat, we decided to try to try to reconcile. We had weekly therapy sessions together and alone. We each went to two sessions a week for about a year. Some ground rules were set. One rule was that she was never to contact a fair partner again. It wasn't a sacrifice as she had no professional or social connections with him other than the affair. It was a real grind, I had strong emotions of anger, fear, pain, hopefulness, and despair. Gradually, things started to arrive at a new normal. I started enjoying life with her again. I thought that we were a success story. I used to run a search for AP's phone number in our phone provider's call log often, with her knowledge. I did the search less and less as time went on. About a year ago, again without suspicion, I ran the search and there it was. Two minutes long calls between them and then two calls that were over 30 minutes each. I called AP's number and the voicemail announced his name. I felt that it would be ill-advised for me to leave a recording of my thoughts for him, so I hung up. I was crushed. All of the regained trust evaporated instantly. I laid the groundwork by quietly moving some money around, changing passwords, retaining a lawyer, and securing a place to live. After that, I confronted her. I told her that she had broken the ground rule and that I would be leaving and filing for divorce. I went on to say that nothing that there was nothing that she could say or do that would change my mind and that discussion on the matter was pointless. Of course, Drama ensued. I've been gone for about a year now. We co-parent well and the divorce process has gone smoothly. Our children are well and mostly happy. I guess those are successes. Additional info. Soon to be exu. Her income will be sufficient to support her. I pay part of the mortgage on the house and monthly support for our daughter. We are selling the house when my daughter graduates from high school and splitting the equity. That will be enough for her to make a down payment for a new place to live. She will be fine. I have no idea if she has a relationship with AP. She may be dating him or someone else, but probably hasn't had any men at the house. Our daughter would have told me. Affair partner. She met him at work before she switched careers. He had no interaction with our social circle. I vaguely recall meeting him at one of her former employer's holiday parties. 
On the first D-Day, soon to be Xu told me that he was single. I didn't bother to ask after the second D-Day. I don't participate in much social media but I have searched the web for him. Nothing that indicates his relationship status comes up. If I find out that he is in a relationship, I will certainly tell his significant other. Kids Our son is in a rigorous program at college and has a very demanding internship in the summer. When he is in the area, which isn't very often, he splits his time between us and enjoys staying on the boat some nights. I live in the entertainment district downtown so, when he's in town, he often crashes through my door late at night on the weekends with his buddies to sleep it off. I enjoy making a big breakfast for the boys the following morning. Our daughter lives with her mom during the week and with me on the weekends. She is an athlete with a fair number of friends so most of my weekend days are spent driving her to practice or to a friend's house. She likes to invite friends to my place for a night on the town and a sleepover. Again, breakfast is fun. They both know that mom was unfaithful. I don't bring it up. They haven't asked many questions and I prefer to leave it that way. Both have had a few sessions with a therapist and the therapist told me that she doesn't think additional sessions are needed. The Divorce We have taken a collaborative approach. We are splitting things fairly equally. We won't have any financial obligations to each other once our daughter graduates from high school and the house is sold. Some of our assets are difficult to place a value on and the complexity of that has prolonged the process. Why did she cheat? This question haunts me. My heart desperately wants an explanation. It just wants an explanation to make sense of it all. Just, why? Was I not enough? Was I not satisfying in the bedroom? Is my dad bought a turnoff? Did I say or do the wrong things? Was I not attentive enough? Is a fair partner just better? What's wrong with me? I could go on and on. My mind, on the other hand, knows a few things. To me, there is no valid reason to cheat. No one forced her to remain in the marriage. She could have filed divorce papers, told me, and then jumped right into a relationship with someone else. Not much could have stopped that. I believe that she wanted the benefits of something new without the cost of losing what she had. I'm not sure if she assumed that I had stopped checking phone records or if she, on some level, wanted to be caught. What I do know is that by listening to her supposed reason for cheating, I would be allowing her to justify her actions. I am not willing to give her the comfort that comes with justification. There is no reason she could give that wasn't BS unless she just said I'm selfish and I don't care who gets hurt as long as I get what I want. I wouldn't give her opportunity to justify it either. This needs to be stickied on the forum. This is the case for everyone in here. All that other stuff they say is just rainbows and unicorn sheet. If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be here now would we? Selfishness I believe that she wanted the benefits of something new. Probably. Another victim of the tingles. The excitement of someone new coupled with knowing how wrong it is is a potent force. The cheaters will say stuff like he just made me feel alive even blaming the betrayed as too straight and narrow. But I don't think anyone really knows why they have been betrayed probably because, in a lot of cases, the cheater doesn't know themselves. But to ask the question to them as to why is a pointless question because you are never sure if the answer you get is anywhere close to the truth. It's one of the few times where ignorance is better. Think about it this way, all that affair effort could have gone to improving your marriage but it didn't. It just plain selfish behavior always thinking of your own needs and not those of your spouse family.